Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're going to learn how to solo using third harmonies inside your finger style. Again, okay, by third harmonies, I mean this. those close together harmonies that are really pleasant to the ear. And the good news is that you don't always have to adhere to a specific scale when you play it. Listen to this. You see? I used notes that were outside of the scale, notes that were not inside the scale, and it still sounded great. Okay, sometimes it's the notes that are not in the scale that provide really interesting colors. So, um, let's start, let's play A, okay? The A bass, okay, the fifth string. And we're gonna use both minor scale, harmonies and major scale harmonies okay so let's play uh, harmonies okay the third harmonies on the second and third strings first okay so um, if we're playing a major we have two and two on strings two and three so you can bar and then you can play three and four and you can take these two frets up And then you can play seven and seven. And you can hammer it on and pull it off. You can slide it. And if you want to hammer on the seven and seven, change your fingering. Play um, five and six on strings two and uh, three. Okay, five and six, play them with these two fingers. And then you can hammer on the seven. Okay? If you want to go below the two and two, you can play zero and one. Now, the cool thing is that you don't need to play them together. You can create different solos. You can play the different strings. Okay, just add rhythm to it and it will work fine. You also don't have to play them in sequence. Okay, again, just find a rhythmic pattern repeat it and just change between the thirds okay the a bass is what gives it the whole color okay so again for a major you have two and two zero and one three and four five and six and seven and seven Different, the different expressions. You can also slide on the second string instead of on the third. I was sliding on the third string. You can also slide on the second string. that's a little bit technically challenging because you have to change the fingering of the thirds okay so it's really great 
Now, the thing is that you have two types of thirds. You have the major third and the minor third, but we're not getting into theory here. Okay, if you want to get more into theory, I just released a theory course called Theory Unlocked. Okay, and I also cover a lot of theory in my ear training course as well. So they work really well together. You have all my courses. You can get instant access to all my courses right now at lickandriff.com slash courses, instant access to my courses platform. Um, 12 courses are waiting for you right now, including the new course Theory Unlocked. I just released it last week. And every month I'm gonna release a new course. So check it out, lickandriff.com slash courses. I am also holding this summer a guitar giveaway a guitar giveaway, uh, and one new member of my courses platform is gonna win a Journey Instruments puddle jumper at the end of the summer. So check it out, lickandrev.com slash courses, and um, I'll see you on the other side, okay? So, now if you want a minor, you play one and two, okay, on strings two and three, and then you play three and four, and five and five. So it's like you're taking these, okay, down two frets, okay? So you have zero, zero, one and two, three and four, five and five, and six and seven, okay? It's the same sequence, just down two frets. And you can hammer on the one and two. And you can hammer on the five. You can bar five and hammer on the six and seven. So you see, I played seven and seven by mistake, but it sounded great. The notes outside the scales. So after you get used to this, you can mix between the two. Try and mixing. Never hurts to try. You might come up with something really interesting. Now, um, in the next um, lesson about thirds, I'm gonna teach you thirds on strings one and two, okay? So just keep in mind that right now you're practicing strings two and three. Okay, on strings one and two, it's a little bit different. Okay, the shapes are a little bit different. So I will see you uh, on the next lesson, okay? And you have fun. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out my courses program, lickandref.com slash courses, and I'll see you there. Bye now.